Bye, Jess. Well, it's been a week since we last chatted, and my only you left to lamb is finally in labor. We have a, a beautiful mucus plug right there. She's hating on my dog. She's stomping, and she's bellering. All the things. Today's kind of a big day. We have, we have Rebecca coming to scan my next group of ewes that potentially are due in June. A group of about 60 were were you lambs from last March that were born? Oh gosh. No. And then the other ones were some mature ewes. I think they lambed in September, so they would have been weaned in like November and bred again in January. All last year I only did one cycle, so I bred them for four to five days and that was it, pulled the rams. And my conception rates weren't great. Uh, so I went back to my original program of leaving the rams in for 21 days. A ewe will cycle every 17 to 21 days, basically. So when I give them 21 days, it should, because you're seedering them, you're sinking them, you're timing them, that should be enough to catch two cycles. I'm gonna quick do chores. Keep an eye on that mama. Here's my bottle babies, they're doing really well. My older ones and my younger ones. Lots on the agenda. Lambing, because lambing took so long, I have a ton of jobs I need to get caught up on. Oh, and this afternoon I have Wendell and Christine coming. So they're coming this afternoon to help me redo my proportioner. Sorry, bad camera angle. I'm just gonna check for another one, and then I'm gonna keep feeding and leave these guys alone. I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't know what I'm feeling. I feel something in her, but I'm not entirely sure what it is, and I don't wanna do any damage. It feels weird. It feels like a hook, but it's messed up, so I don't know. All done lambing. Yes. So I'm here with Rebecca. 
Rebecca has been a key part of the team that does not ever get talked about as well. She's been with me since the get since first the start, time. since the very first time I scan. I scan every group. I do give them two chances, so if she says they're open today, they get one more chance. So how much do you charge for each of you to get scanned? It varies by size of flock, but under 100 it's a dollar fifty for you, and over 100 it's a dollar for you. Okay. And then travel costs, and that's right. usually in between 30 and $50, depending on how far I go and how many jobs you have. And Rebecca drives, what's the drive to here? Four and a bit hours. Yeah, so she drives over four hours to, to come and do my flock and you usually time it. I'm At least two other jobs I can try. Yeah, so she lives, she's on the east side of Toronto, I'm on the west side of Toronto, so it's quite a drive. So she has to get up very early and she also runs her own sheep farm. So she's a little bit of my hero because I can barely just run my sheep farm, <laughs> let alone have a side gig. So I thank you, Rebecca, for always showing up when I need you. And yeah, so if you're in Ontario and you need to scan your sheep, give her a call. I'll have it in my description how to contact her and uh, if she's available because she's very busy. <laughs> I try, I'm still adding new customers. Yay. <laughs> so Rebecca just left and we had a really good scan. Coming off after that last lambing group where I felt a little bit discouraged, it's nice, it's nice knowing the other things that are part of the system, part of the planning are working. Uh, I did cedar this whole group, both the ewe lambs and the ewes. Uh, people have asked me why I cedar my ewe lambs. I just, I just do it so they're on the same program as these guys. I know when they're gonna start lambing, I know when they're gonna finish. I'm gonna put them back in their pens. I'm gonna get that group fed up. Early next week, I wanna, I'm gonna run those open ones through and put them in my Gallagher system as open and give them one more chance. And I'm gonna sort the ewes that I dried off in February. They lambed in December. I'm gonna run them through, sort them, check for udder issues, all that stuff. I'm gonna do that next week and get ready to breed the next group. You guys, lambing is officially, officially, officially over. While I was helping Rebecca, Little Miss Sunshine had two more. Hoping for. Okay, so we're gonna do the Pearson Square. Okay, we're gonna okay. do Pearson Square. Awesome. All right, okay. <laughs> so our sheep supplement is 35% correct protein, and our corn is 8% protein, mm -hmm. and we want a 14% protein ration. Mm -hmm. So 14 minus 8 is 6, and 35 minus 14 is 21. 27 is total. So 21 divided by 27 equals 77.8% corn. Six divided by 27 is 22.2%. Yep. So we're aiming for that. Yep. So now we're gonna add 4,180 grams, 3,400 grams of corn divided by 4,180 equals 81.3 percent, 780 divided by 4180, 18.7 percent. So and that again, was on our old ration, right? It's like magic. So we need to decrease the corn, the supplement slightly. Or, oh, decrease the corn a bit, right? Sorry, and because we want the supplement. We're going from a 39 that's percent right. protein. That's right. So that makes sense. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna yep. increase the supplement. Because that's all we can do. So we put one more pin out yep. and see what that looks like. Exactly. Okay. Those are supplements, so we're gonna go one. So if this is too much, then we will 
bump corn up one so because the corn, corn is on the Oh, it is. Yeah. Well, and they can always bump it up to 15%, right? Or 16 Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's not the end of the world. Hey, 77.6. It work? <gasps> exactly what we want. It's exactly what we want. 22.4. It's exactly. Well, it's pretty close. So we're going to leave that. And just for demonstration, we show what happens when you screw it up yep. and push the pins the wrong way. And it'll just make a it just goes back hotter. It it'll just make a hotter Russian. Yeah. Thanks, Wendell. And that will make a fortune crush. Hey. We did the Pearson Square. And I would say your meter mill is super accurate. I know. Yeah. If you do everything right. If, if, if it doesn't screw up. Thanks, Christine. So I just finished up with Wendell and Christine. They helped me calibrate our proportioner. What happened is we changed from a 39% supplement to a 35% supplement. So we did what's called a Pearson square. If you Google it, you'll figure out what that means. Because it's a 35%, we had to figure out what that looks like of corn versus uh, concentrate. So I think it ended up being about 78% and 22%, something like that. So we did that this afternoon and it was really nice to see them. I haven't seen, I haven't seen anyone in forever. Wendell, I've been on his podcast, so shout out to him. I will put a description down below uh, for you guys to follow his podcast. Christine is just a dear, dear friend. We sat on a board together. Uh, it's just a joy getting together with her. It's been a good day. Good scan, I'm done lambing, much better week. I've caught up on my sleep, uh, feeling a lot better. Guys, if you're just new to the channel, thanks for watching. It's been unbelievable, the comments and the engagement I've been getting this week. If I've missed them, I apologize, but thank you for commenting, thank you for watching. If there's other things you guys want to see, let me know. This particular vlog was kind of a viewer's choice, so thank you to Instagram for just commenting and, and letting me know that maybe a scan was what you wanted to see. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great weekend. I know I'm going to.